So my goal is I want to take that draft horse and turn it into this unicorn. That's what I want to do. And I think I'll use just plain old pencil. Yeah, just pencils. Okay, so I'm trying to decide on my, uh, yeah, which pencil do I want? I might even move from pencil to crayon. Yeah, that's true. I didn't really get the crayons either today. We could do all sorts of things with that. Okay, so yeah, trying to plan ahead here. Sketch time. Okay, so sketching, you can just draw really quickly and just figure out the placements of things. See, I'm just kind of scribbling. Okay, and then the wing will be like up here. Yeah, maybe it'll be like a yeah winged unicorn. That's uh, that's <laughs> another another kind of implausible pre creature. Something a horse with wings. Yeah, I don't know. And I love the I love the hair on this one. Let's see. Actually, I think the wing would probably be more like this. So yeah, you gotta you gotta figure this out. All right, so see if you can put those two things together, if, if that's what you're doing. If you're doing the zebra, hey, yeah, go for it. I have a feeling I'm not going to have time for that zebra. Hmm. But maybe I can do another, another class with zebras. Okay, so if you're faster than me, hey, keep going. So let's see. I'm figuring out now this horse's face. Remember, it's like the letter U a little bit in the front. So make it like that. Oh, uh, let me get that photo reference for you as well. Yeah, where's the where are those photo references? Yeah. Okay, copy. Yeah, let's bring in some photo reference for you. There's the uh, horse that I'm drawing and the swan. I'll bring that in as well. Okay, control C. Yeah, it's great to have photo reference and there you go. Okay. And let's see come to think of it yeah the wing should probably be even more over here so I'll have to have it like that okay now here I go I'm going to really go for it uh, let me get an even darker pencil a less forgiving pencil gotta live you know take a risk right I love this eye of this horse so I want to get that eye it kind of has this uh, curl at the end, and it's got little eyelashes. So let me make it kind of pretty. How's that? <laughs> okay. How did I do that, in case you want to know? Uh, let me get a scrap paper. Yeah, so eye shapes. So this horse's eye is kind of, it's, it, again, it's like a leaf shape. You see leaf shapes a lot in art. So how's that? And it has these eyelashes, so I want to include them. So I did this. I made like little, little, uh, little eyelashes. Yeah, just showing how I did it. And then you can fill in underneath it and get a sense of the eye like that. Okay, here we go. All right, so that's basically what I did for the eye. A little close up of that. Because, yeah, sometimes the eye is really everything. Eye is important. Okay, so I think I'll ignore the uh, the thing around its face. I like the furriness of it, so you can practice making your your lines really flowy. You can make it a furry, furry unicorn. I also like how yeah, I like that it's a it's a big it's a draft horse. So, yeah, we're going, yeah, going a little differently from the tapestry. Oh, look, oh, actually, it's, its face is a little bigger. So if it's bigger, I can erase and then just start to add more. Yay. There we are. That's more like it. That's more like it. See, that's what's nice about pencil. You can, you can fix things. Here we go. Yeah, when, when you're working with marker, right, you have to just commit to it with marker. But pencil, pencil, we can 
you know, I don't want to say the word cheat. It's not cheating. There's no cheating. All right. Okay. Trying to make this. Okay, here we go. Now, it's got this flowing mane. So look at that. Ha practice your long lines if you're using pencil. Uh, what, whatever you're using. Yeah, long lines flowing from there. I see his ear is here, so figure that out. Say, okay, if the eye is here, where is the ear in relation to the eye? Yeah, it's got to be, the ear's got to be here. It's got to be about here. So I'm sketching the inside of the ear lightly. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, get the shape of the ear. And oh, we got room for a horn. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something a little fancy, though. I think I'm going to make a curved horn. So, you know, if you look up those um, animals like the oryx, is it oryx or ibex? One of those. They, they have these really cool horns that curve. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I don't have a reference for it, but I'll tell you, I'll tell you how it's done. Okay, here's the neck. And there's the ear once again, going into the ear a little more. It's got fur inside its ear, it looks like. Yeah, this horse looks like it's built for the snow. Okay, well, oh, what about that cool neck? Look at the f look at the mane on that neck. I should probably even make that even bigger for you. Let's see if I can. Uh, hang on a second. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to make that picture a little bigger for those of us who, yeah, let's see. All right, I'm going to move, I'm going to move Llama. I'm going to move my little message. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, can you see that neck? Look at that neck. Yeah, that's what I, I want you to be able to see that. Okay, yeah, I want to help my students out. Yeah, there we go. Bring this up so you can see the face. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to save the horn for last. I love drawing the horn. The ear, the other ear is here. And the mane is like flowing in the wind, like in the snowy wind. So it's it, it's like going up. Do you see that? It's like going like this, off, off, up off its neck. So that's different. And it makes it look really magical. Like whoosh. And then some... Looks like some hair is flowing here. So you can make some hair flow a bit. You can make it go in different directions if you want. See, just I'm adding these, yeah, flowing lines. That's what we want. Flowing lines. Flowing lines for the mane. Yeah, mane. M-A-N-E. It's one of those words that has uh, other meanings and spellings. But when we're talking about hair on a horse's neck or a lion, that's the mane. M-A-N-E. All right. I think I, I like the shape of this. And uh, let's see. Let's go down into the chest. So see, the neck is here. The neck connects to the middle of the chest here. Yeah, see? So that's why this line is here and then... I make this line, and it's a little hard to see in that photo because it's so light, but I see its body does this, and we have, yeah, we have the chest here, and it's got its legs, front legs connected to it. You can even make the legs furry. Yeah, I, oh, I love adding, I love drawing fur. I think you got that already. All right, and... Since we don't see, hmm, yeah, we don't see the rest of it, you could very well look up photo reference of uh, like a draft horse's foot, but I'm just going to make it look like there's like, yeah, I don't know, something in the way here, <laughs> okay. You could even put grasses and things. Maybe it's grazing. Maybe it's in a cloud. Yeah, you decide. Where is it? What is covering its legs? Unless you want to draw its legs, okay. Up to you. All right, so we've got, I got the neck. Okay, yeah, its neck is doing this. And I did want to add the wing. 
Let's see. Do I have space for this wing? Yeah, if you if you saw that picture of the swan. Hmm. Okay. So I'm going to tilt my paper so I can see what I need to do with this wing. Okay, it's going to it's going to do this. It's going to come up and be a little feathery here. And I guess it's going to just go off the page because I don't want to cram that wing into this little area. That's, you know, it's not going to help my drawing. It's just going to look, look kind of funny. So it's going to go off the page. And the attachment will be, I'll make it over here. And you can make feathers. Yeah, so look at the structure of a wing. Yeah, yeah, have we gone into wings in our in my in my class in the past? Yeah, I don't I don't think so. Not like this. Yeah, look at this bird wing. Okay. Yeah, you might have to tilt your paper. You know, that might help you see better see um the angle, right? Because yeah, my, my drawing is more at an angle than what we're seeing in that swan. So just to make sure I get this right, I am tilting it and adding the feathers. See, feathers just can keep coming out like that. Yeah, la layer them in. Th there's lots and lots of layers of feathers in a wing. And hey, you know, well now I have less work to do because it's going off the page, huh? So, okay. Oh my goodness, it's 8.03 already. So at least, you know, local time here. All right, last thing. Let's do that horn. Okay, so it's coming from the center of the head. So I'm sketching it. And like I said, I'm making a curved horn. I want it to be curved because I don't want it to go off the page. I want a nice, long, curvy horn. Okay, coming from there, and I make these little, these little curls, see, like it curls a bit, curls a bit, and it tapers down to the tip. Okay. And there we have it. Now, I'm just making this a little darker. And adding... Just now adding some more dark lines to it. So that makes it a little more dramatic. And there we have it. Yeah, so I hope I hope this helped you in seeing how you can use photo reference to make even more compelling fantasy drawings. Because yeah, that's yeah, that's something I love doing. So yeah, look up look up real animals and think of yeah what how can you use their features in your art if you want to make a fantasy creature all right yeah that's it i think i think i'm going to call it a drawing although may maybe i'll still draw after i tune out but oh see it's so fun yeah all these sketches so here we go got my unicorn a traditional unicorn with uh, well with with wings. I got llama corn. And from earlier, yeah, there's, there's that dragon from earlier. Okay, so yeah, that was a blast. I hope that, I hope that you're happy with what you have drawn today. Oh my goodness, everybody. Thanks so much. Thanks, thanks for tuning in. Oh, thank, thanks, Monica. Yeah, thanks for being here. Yeah, I hope I hope that uh, folks enjoy watching as well as hopefully drawing. Yeah, you should definitely draw with me. I'll be back on Saturday. So this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So figure out, yeah, what that is in your time zone. I'm 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. That way you'll, you'll know what's going on with Vico. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not the only teacher here. We've got some other phenomenal, phenomenal teachers in a variety of subjects. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notifications and you'll know what's happening. Happy drawing. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.